South Sudan has erupted in clashes in the last few days that have killed hundreds of people. This is Jeffrey Gettleman, East Africa Bureau Chief for the New York Times. I've been covering South Sudan for the past 10 years. Right now we're in a really depressing moment. The violence that is sweeping across Juba right now is a continuation of factional fighting that has racked the country since December 2013. The key players are Riek Machar, who is the no, no, vice president of the country, and Salva Kiir, who is the president of the country. They both hail from different ethnic groups. Mr. Kiir is a Dinka, Mr. Machar is a Nuer, and this conflict has taken a real ethnic direction, with civilians of Nuer's and Dinka's being killed by soldiers of the other group. So nobody's basically safe in South Sudan. Not the soldiers, not the civilians, not even the peacekeepers. Two Chinese peacekeepers were killed in recent days while they were trying to protect civilians. The key question of whether this flares up into a huge war is whether international pressure can get the two sides, Mr. Kears and Mr. Machars, to make peace. One of the biggest concerns right now are these large internally displaced persons camps in and around Juba. Many people are worried that these camps could be attacked and that the peacekeepers will not be able to keep hundreds or even thousands of soldiers from storming these camps. Often these camps are predominantly one ethnic group or another. In South Sudan, it's very easy to tell who belongs to which ethnic group. Both the Nuer and Dinka perform traditional scarring where on their forehead they'll have different patterns of lines. And it's very easy just to, by looking at a man walking down the street to tell if he is Nuer or Dinka. When I was in South Sudan a few months ago, I was in one of these displaced persons camps, and it was full of new heirs who had fled violence and were very worried that they were gonna be targeted by Dinka soldiers. And I remember talking to one young man, and he pointed to his forehead, and he said, these scars are essentially my death certificate. If I step outside, people will know I'm new heir, and they could attack me. So that's how dire the situation really is, and that's why people are really frightened because there's a pattern of violence in this place.